This video will assist you with Lab 1, creating a presentation with pictures. You can find this assignment in your book on PowerPoint page 52. Let's get started. As I review the instructions on PowerPoint page 52, I realize I'll need some data files. I'm in my Blackboard. In Blackboard, I'll go to the assignment area. I need these data files where it says data files. I'll find my data files, right click on each data file that I need, and save target as or save link as depending on which browser I'm in. I'll find a location. I typically save mine to the desktop because then I can go back and delete it very quickly. I've already saved it here, so I'm not going to click save. I will hit cancel, but I'll go through the process again just in case you don't understand. I'll right click on the next data file, save target as or save link as. Choose the location where you'd like to save this image. I'll choose desktop and then click save. For me, it says it already exists. Do I want to replace it now? I'm going to hit cancel. Complete the same process for the donut PNG, which is an image, and the muffin PNG, which is also an image. Once you have all four data files downloaded to a location where you can use them, you're ready to start your assignment. There's no need to open these files and view them. Just save the files so that you can use them. The next thing it's going to ask me to do in the book, if I start with my very first step one, run PowerPoint and create a new, a new presentation using the retrospect theme. I'm going to create a new blank presentation. I'll go to the design tab. I'm going to check out these themes. Here's the retrospect theme. If you don't have the retrospect theme, you can look online to see if you can download it, or you can discuss with your instructor a different option besides using retrospect. Retrospect should be an option with all of the PowerPoints that are available for you if you've downloaded the proper software. Step number one also says do not change the variant, so that means we are ready to go. Step number one is complete. Let's go ahead and complete step number two. Step number two says to create the title slide. We're going to click in there and create our title slide. Bobby's Big Shop. And add our subtitle. It will be all caps automatically based off of the theme. One, two, three. Main Street, enter, any town, comma, USA. Step number two says to type the title text and the subtitle in the figure. Decrease the font size of the title to 60 and bold this text. Decrease the font of the title to 60 and make it bold. 60 and B for bold. Change the font color to accent one, orange accent one. Now, if I don't have retrospect, I will not have orange accent one, okay? So I'm going to click on orange accent one right here. If you haven't chosen retrospect for your theme, you will not have orange accent one. You'll have to discuss that with your instructor. On slide one, let's see here, that will finish Step number two, step number three, on slide one, insert the illustration called bakery. I'm going to click off of my text. It's important I'm clicked off of my text. I'll select insert. And I'd like to insert a picture. This picture I saved earlier to my desktop. I'll click on my desktop and I will select the bakery image that it asked me to select. Then it's going to ask me to move this image um, to the top of this slide and use the smart guides to align it left and right. As I click on this image, you can see I get these little red or orange colored smart lines so that I can adjust this and move this. And I've adjusted it left and right. Then use the lower center sizing handle to resize the illustration. In order for me to do that, I'm going to get my two-headed arrow at the very bottom of the image on the little circle. Once I get the two-headed arrow, I will click and drag up, which will allow me to resize my image. That step is complete. Step number four, ask me to replace the words Anytown USA with the hometown city and state. You can do that on your own. You won't need to watch me do that. You can do that. Click down here and type. Step number five, create slide two. 
On slide two, they ask us to create slide two using the title only layout. I'm going to select that I'd like a new slide, but I would like title only. I'll click on title only. Type the text, fresh daily. Bold this text. All right, so step number two, create slide two using the title only layout. Type the title text, fresh daily. Bold this text and then change the font color to orange accent one. Done. Insert the picture called Donut, which is located in the data files, and resize it and move it to the left of the slide. I need to click below this content box. Insert picture from my desktop. I'm going to select the Donut and insert it. It asks me to resize this some, so I will uh, make it smaller, move it to the left. Then it's going to ask me to insert another picture, which is the muffin. And it's going to ask me to move that to the right. And it does not give me specific sizes for these. It asks me to look at the image and attempt to resize it based off of the image that's in your book. Okay. That will complete step number five. Step number six, using the figure Step number six, using the figure 1-80C as a guide, create slide three using a picture with caption layout. I need to go back to my home tab. On my home tab, I'd like to create a new slide. This new slide is gonna be created picture with caption. I'll select picture with caption. I'm going to select here, click the icon to add the picture. Click the icon to add your picture. In this particular one, it asks us to select bread and insert it. Now our image is part of this slide. Type the title text, Artisan Breads. Here is our title text. And increase the font size to 48 and bold this text. Increase the font size to 48 and bold the text. Type all natural ingredients as the subtitle text. Okay, here's my subtitle. Press the tab key four times. One, two, three, four. Type no preservatives. Increase the subtitle text to 28. I'm going to do a control A to make that easier. Increase the font size to 28. That is done and step number six is complete. Step number seven, create the closing slide by duplicating slide one. Okay, duplicate slide one, right click on it and duplicate the slide. Now this is gonna be my last slide so I'm gonna click on this one and drag, drag, drag and hold, hold, hold and drop it down below so it is now slide four. So step number seven says create the closing slide by duplicating slide one, which we did change the subtitle text, okay? And here they would like for us to change this subtitle text right here so that it says 555-1212 and where it says, this should actually be your hometown, right? Because you should have replaced it. 6 a.m. Oh, they would like dots there. Space A period M period to six space p period m period okay now that's complete 
So that is step seven and step seven is complete. Okay, check it out. Step number eight, apply the clock transition in the exciting category to all slides and change the duration time to two seconds. Okay, that's easy enough. I'd like a transition. It tells me it's in the exciting category. I will find the exciting category. I will find the one that says clock. I will select clock. It says that I need to make it two seconds. I'm gonna increase this duration until I get to two. Now, if I look over here on slide four, it's got a star next to it. That star indicates that there is some kind of transition going on or animation on slide four. Now, the difference is, is that this particular assignment tells me to apply this to all slides. So, I've selected clock, I've changed the duration to two, and I will say apply to all. Now, if I look over here on my view, slide one, two, three, and four all have a star. So now they all have the transition on them. Click start from the beginning button on the start show from the first slide. So if I wanna go into slide show, I can come in here and say start it from the beginning, or I can click on slide one, and come to the very bottom and click on this little icon here, which is slideshow. Now it's gonna take me through my slideshow, slide one, slide two, slide three, and slide four. Double check yourself, make sure that you have everything complete. I did skip one or two very small steps. This is just a tool and a guide to assist you in completing your assignment. This is not the complete assignment. Make sure that you double check. There are a few steps I did not complete. Check with your book and your set of instructions. I did not change my hometown, so there were a couple of things that I mentioned in there that you will need to make sure you do. Also, it's gonna ask you to save this presentation with the file name of lab 1-1 bake and submit this into Blackboard. So that should assist you with this particular assignment. Good luck with you, and I hope this helps.